Hello guys, on my Facebook page I've got a message about having uh, a cryptocurrency exchange rates displayed on uh, an e-paper display and I thought to myself well that um, this app I can do it so in this video I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero W and e-paper display and uh, we will make this app <laughs> So basically you, you should watch uh, the previous video about how to run a demo on this display. You can find the link to this video in this card or in the description below. Um, briefly uh, there is like five steps to uh, make this app. Uh, first uh, we will uh, update our copy of Raspbian. Second we will install git. Third we will clone the python library which is the coin market cap and then we will install the uh, library requirements and after that we will just run the code on uh, the raspberry pi now let's start by attaching the hat to the raspberry pi zero uh, this raspberry pi is running raspbian light so there is no graphical interface i've just connected uh, the power and login to the device using WinSCCP uh, to move the files to the, the Pi and also I'm using Butty to use uh, to run uh, the commands on uh, the Raspberry Pi now this is step one we will uh, uh, install uh, we will update the system uh, we need to install git to clone the codes uh, you can download the codes and extract it but uh, here I prefer to use git Uh, first, let's uh, now I have uh, used body to uh, SSH to uh, the Raspberry Pi, and we will update uh, the system using uh, sudo apt get update, and this will take um, time, depend on your connection if and if your system need to be updated. then uh, to uh, sudo apt dash get upgrade nice uh, after that this is uh, the second step we uh, will install git uh, here on my machine I've installed git uh, you can check by uh, typing the command git hyphen hyphen version and now uh, it's installed if if you don't have git on your machine simply uh, install it using this command sudo apt dash git install git hyphen all and press enter and as you see it's uh, already installed Clear. well uh, this is uh, uh, the library we are using to uh, grab the code from uh, the crypto market the coin market capitalization this site has an ABI uh, to uh, s uh, you can use to uh, uh, grab a data from uh, this website so uh, simply we can um, clone this library on body also let's go uh, I've already cloned this library here this is uh, the cryptocurrency this is the folder that I have uh, I cloned uh, everything here CD cryptocurrency yes this is uh, the crypto market uh, cap and as you can see this is uh, the library just you can uh, get use this command clone and you you just paste this 
uh, URL and press enter this will uh, clone or download all the, the, the code here in your uh, machine I'll cancel it and uh, the requirement of text uh, file you will need that uh, you can find that we need request dash cache and request uh, libraries to be installed uh, by default uh, requests is installed uh, on this machine and we need to install uh, request dash, ca uh, dash cache requests underscore cache or hyphen cache this is uh, simply we clone uh, the library like that let's say get clone and the name of the library enter this will uh, it's already exist and uh, uh, if not it will be downloaded to your uh, uh, machine let's cd to requests cache this is supposed to have all the code downloaded now to your uh, uh, machine and after that to uninstall it just uh, Python setup dot by install it will run install after that on the uh, coin market folder we also will run uh, this install this will install the library on uh, your uh, machine and if you need permission simply uh, use sudo this is already installed and after that we, we can run our code in uh, in here the code is the code in uh, python folder and we just run uh, Python cryptocurrency crypto chart as I call the file uh, and press enter this will uh, run the code on your uh, display as you can see that uh, the display would refresh and pull the data from uh, the coin market capitalization uh, site. Now, talking about the code, let's uh, explore the code together. I'm using Visual Studio Code, and here is the code I got from. Uh, with share this is the default uh, or the um, this is uh, the code for uh, the demo code for the display and this is uh, I just copied and uh, added my uh, code in this uh, file uh, assembly uh, here is uh, the part that we are uh, getting uh, the data um, uh, uh, first this uh, application will uh, restart every uh, three minutes this application will restart and here is the the code to pull from the capitalization the coin capitalization market and here we told him uh, to convert the code to euro if you if you don't want uh, the code in euros you just simply uh, remove uh, this line and uh, after that uh, the rates will be displayed in us dollars if you can um, just go through uh, the code it's simply you know it's just um, like 100 line of code well uh, that's it if you like the video i wish you well that's it for today's video uh, if you like the video please hit the like button and uh, that will really help the channel a lot um, you can find the source code uh, and uh, links in the description below uh, and also a link to my blog if i missed something in this video you can ask me in a comment below and i'll see you next time thanks for watching
Have a nice day.